Hey guys, I'm back. Today I will be doing a tutorial on how to make Shelly shotgun from the game Brawl Stars. I'll get right into the materials and supplies you will need for this tutorial. The first supply you will need for this tutorial is just some paints. I'm using Apple Barrel Glossy Dark Gray, Nutmeg Brown, and the next paint is optional, it is Elephant Gray. So you will probably need these three paints. The next thing you will need for this video are just some wire cutters or some scissors. So I'm just using scissors, but if you have wire cutters, um, I would recommend using those. But you will need some sort of cutting thing because you will be cutting plastic. The next thing you'll need for this tutorial is just some toothpicks. I bought a 500 count and they're very nice to use. I think you can get these at Walmart for very cheap, so you will need some toothpicks. You will also need some sandpaper. I'm just using hard grid sandpaper. So I would recommend using hard grid because you're sanding a lot of plastic off, so you'll probably need some hard grid sandpaper. You also need some super glue. I'm just using Gorilla Glue, because that's my choice of super glue, but if you have any other choice of super glue, you can just <clears throat> use that. But I'm just using Gorilla Glue. You will also need some sculpting material. I'm just using Procreate because that's what I like to use for sculpting. But if you have some sort of other sculpting material, you can just use that. But you will need some sort of sculpting material. You will also just need a simple paintbrush. You can find these um, at like a craft store or Walmart, um, but you will need just some sort of paintbrush. And the last and most important thing you will need is just some Lego parts. You will need a Lego pirate gun and also a um, gray shotgun and just a little attacher piece. So you'll need those three Lego parts. All right, now let's get to work. First thing you're going to do is take your brown pirate gun, cut off the end and sand it so it is nice and smooth. I'm gonna do that off cam and I'll be right back. All right, so this is what your brown pirate gun should look like. Just cut off and make sure to sand it, and I'll be right back. All right, once you have it all nice and sanded like that, take your gray attacher piece and sand off the circle in the middle with your hard grid sandpaper and just sand right in the middle. All right, once you have this all sanded, you can go ahead and take your pirate gun and just attach the two together and see how it fits perfectly right in there. <clears throat> now what you're gonna do is take your super glue and also take your toothpick and just dab it in your super glue and super glue these two together just like that so i'm going to do that off camera all right so once you have your gun super glued wait about five to ten minutes so it is all dry 
and then you can get your paints out. Alright, so when that's drying, you can go ahead and take your little um, gray shotgun and cut off the handle. Make sure you save those rings, but don't get in the trigger. So just cut off the ham handle and save all the rings. All right, once you have your piece nice and cut out, and also your gun finished super gluing, you can just get out your <clears throat> paint. So what you wanna do now is you can take out your elephant gray apple barrel paint and paint the whole barrel right here to down to where the main figure holds the gun. So I'm gonna do that off cam and I'll be right back. All right, once you have your gun nice and painted in elephant gray, you can wait a couple minutes till it's all dry and I'll meet you back in a couple minutes. All right, while your shotgun is drying, you can just take your apple barrel nutmeg brown paint and a toothpick and also this little Lego part that we cut off. So you won't need to cut the whole thing. After you cut it, then you can sand it and then you can paint it in a nutmeg brown. So you'll need to paint it with a toothpick probably. So I'll be right back. All right, once you have your Lego part painted in a nutmeg brown, you can just let that dry for a couple minutes and I'll meet you back. All right, while that's drying, you can take your sculpting putty out and get a little bit of it and mix them together. If you're using the same material as I am and I'll meet you back in a second. All right, once you have your gun painted in an elephant gray and the loader um, painted in a brown, what I did after that is I also painted it in a glossy dark gray color so, and I also super glued the loader to the gun. So once you have your clay ready, you can just fill in the holes on the front and right there. So yeah. All right, once you have your putty ready, you can just go ahead and take a small bit of it, about that much, and just fill in the cracks on the gun right there. So, yeah. All right, once you have your shotgun filled in with sculpting material, you are pretty much done with your gun. Just wait a couple hours and then repaint it. But yeah, I think that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please make sure to add a like to this video if you enjoyed it and felt it was helpful. And please make sure to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.